breaking news of the next all-star lineup of Dancing with the Stars and Lara. Let's get to that final six. All right, here we go. The boy bander who tangled his way to second place in season four, Joey Fatone made the cut. Also, the Baywatch beauty who seduced the dance floor in season 10, of course, Pamela Anderson. Wow. Yeah, that's not bad to look at. The race car driver who sped to the top of the leaderboard in season five, Elio Castroneves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Castroneves. Did I, did, I didn't say it. Castroneves. Castroneves. Castroneves, Spider Man. Yes. Because he likes, well, he likes to climb the fences when he wins his races. Oh, well, I'm going with Spider Man then from now on. All right. Uh, this reality TV star and GMA contributor sambaed her way into the top three. Melissa Rycroft hey. is in the group. Also an all star. The steamy Hollywood actor who took home the mirror ball in season two and broke all of our hearts. I mean, he is just gorgeous. Gio Marini. Ah, he stole my heart. And she is back. The teen advocate, reality TV star who caused quite a stir when she landed in the top three. And how about that gorilla suit? Bristol Palin is back on the dance floor. Ah, but hold your applause because we're not done. There's a new twist this season. Again, Dancing with the Stars is gonna let all of you and you at home choose the 13th contestant from this pool of three former dancers, and here they are. Close friend of ours here on GAA, over at GMA, fashion expert, man about town, Carson Presley. I love him. I, I, we, I, I say we just all gang together and vote for him. He just is so fun. If you don't want to vote for this person, the cheetah girl clawed her way through season five, Sabrina Bryan. And he's well, an actor who famously tootsie rolled his way to second place in season 11. Oh. He is Kyle Massey. So you have three, three picks. Right. I will say. I'm going with Carson. Well, I mean, yeah, a friend of the program. Friend of GMA. I want to be able to look Carson in the eye and say I voted for you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sad to see Niecy Nash uh, not on that list, but great choices. And now we want to bring in our Dancing with the Stars panel to help break down this casting decision. Uh, joining us live from Los Angeles is pro Val Chmer Chmerkovsky. Val, when will I get it right? Never. Yes. Hello, my Val. I don't know, Larry. Thank Hello, you for having me. Val, brother of Max, um, incredible dancer in his own right. Who? That's the one. That that's Sherry Shepard. That seems to be my uh, last name, actually. Oh, see. Schmierkowski. Schmierkowski. I got it. Well done. I got it. Well done. I, I, I go, I go mostly by now. Val, Max's brother. <laughs> no, 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 no. We fell in love with you with Sherry Shepard, my friend. Also joining us, the former Thank Dancing you. with the Thank Stars you. contestant. He's now actually starring on Broadway in The Fantastics. Please welcome Aaron Carter. <laughs> All right, uh, Val, we want to start with you. You're the dance pro here. You heard the lineup. Uh, who do you think we should watch out for just right now? Gut, gut reaction. Uh, man, Emmett Smith makes me a little nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah, think, yeah. I think he's a front runner right away. He's got that work ethic. He's got that athlete mm -hmm. mentality. And, you know, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer on the show. Clearly, he's an all-star. He's being brought back. And, yeah, I'm a fan, so <laughs> I'm a fan of everybody actually being brought back. I'm very excited. It's going to be very competitive. You know, Val, we, we see so many former athletes, actually current athletes, do so well, the footwork. And again, you mentioned that work ethic. What, what, is, what changes for them? I think, uh, you know, I think they're very accomplished athletes, but at the same time, they, they have had that experience of being coached and uh, take directions and, and, and be able to be part of this competitive environment and, and, and that, that stress factor. I think they're used to that. And, and uh, clearly Emmett Smith being a Hall of Fame football player uh, every Sunday, getting hit every Sunday and, and, and breaking all these records for him doing a cha-cha is, is uh, I guess, a walk in the park. <laughs> I want to ask Aaron, who do you think is the one to beat in this group? Jills Marini. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without question, without hesitation. Without question, especially if he's paired up with uh, paired up with uh, Karina, it'll be. Oh. No, why is that? It'll be well. I mean, when I was on the show, they actually, you know, they had a good relationship, mm -hmm. and they, you know, uh, there's chemistry that lasts in the show, and then mm -hmm. there's chemistry that that lasts way after. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think that if they were paired up together, that they would 
really do good. You so. mentioned chemistry, Aaron. What exactly is that? Because, you know, we take looks, little peek-ins, really, at the training that goes on through the weeks. But you're in there six, seven, eight hours a day with each other. Like, what really, when you talk about chemistry on this show, what are you talking about? Well, for me, when I, when I say chemistry, I mean actually being able to respect each other and get along. That's really what it comes down to, is, is the respect for one, one another. And, uh, not taking things too seriously and, and listening to your your teacher, but your t teacher has to listen to you too and understand your needs and what you need from them as well, or else you you start butting heads. You know, especially when it starts getting hot and heavy right. in the competition. You know, you start taking things out on each other when it's really not each other. It's the nerves and, and all the pressure that you have. You know, leading up to the Monday night. Val, I want to ask you quickly. You guys both uh, have chosen a man as your as your favorite, but uh, you look at the list of the women. Val, if you had to pick one, who are you picking? Man, I was strictly told not to speculate, and Aaron definitely just hooked this girl up right there. I, I, I noticed that. I like that. I like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm a fan. Like I said, I, I like, I love, I love to see Kelly Monaco back on the show. Uh, it's been seven years, so how hopefully about Kirsty? How about how about Max's not, girl, Kirsty? Oh, but Kirsty, no, Kirsty, that's family. I love Kirsty. Kirsty. <laughs> But, but I haven't stopped seeing Kirsty, you know, so. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's going to be very great. Excited. It's going to be fantastic. We thank you both for joining us. Here we go again. Yeah, no, right. All right, Aaron. Thank you. All right, Val. Again, we really appreciate it. And again, uh, you log on. And on Good Morning America, right there, we have three Viewers' Choice contestants that are going to be joining us live. Uh, and again, you log on and you vote, and we're going to have a 13th contestant come Monday.